everybody, it's James here at Home Golf. Come on and take a look at what we've got to show you today. We're going to address one of the big issues in the golf simulator world, and that's the freestanding simulator cage structure. Maybe you're the golf course that wants to have a simulator up for the winter and down in the summer, or maybe you've got a garage that you actually want to use as a garage for part of the year, and a permanent built-in structure just simply isn't what you're looking for. Let's take a look at what I've been working on for the last couple of years and uh, see if this is maybe for you. So generally your golf simulator is going to be built directly into the walls of your golf club or your basement. But what if you don't have that kind of space available? What if you've got a big dining room at your golf club that's not in use during the winter and you want a simulator to go up for one season and down for the other season? Well, what are you going to do? You can find these 10 by 10 by 10 pop-ups pretty quickly, but no amount of bad photoshopping is going to stop it from looking like this. They're just not very sturdy. And then there's the pop-up structures like these ones, which are great for practice, but not for simulators. And of course, these inflatable ones are fine if you're 12. There's big steel structures, but they're onerous to move around, difficult to set up, and expensive. So all of this has led me to designing this steel structure that's capable of a 15 foot span without sagging or bending. At the side here, you can see the double reinforced top and bottom with some 45 degree corner bracing that gives it that strength and rigidity. Of course, there would be a side curtain here, but you don't want anything potentially behind the curtain where the ball could hit and come ricocheting back. So that's why it's open and clear. You've got a double reinforced screen that you can see is offset from the back wall by just enough, again, to protect uh, anybody walking by the back or from the ball pushing the screen and hitting, and hitting a wall behind there. Let's take a look at exactly how, uh, how it goes together. So the joy of this system is that it breaks down and can be put on a skid for storage in the winter or the off season. This is an eight foot long skid. The pieces can be broken down as far as six feet, uh, which makes it pretty easy. I've put this skid on wheels, so it's easy to maneuver uh, when you need to maneuver it. We've been doing some pre-assembling already, which is why these pieces are longer, um, but definitely it does break down onto a skid for easy maneuverability. So the base of the cage sits on these feet, which makes the height slightly adjustable, which is great. And uh, we're reinforced here with a double pipe to add rigidity for the entire structure. So the vertical corner posts here can be adjusted for height to compensate for uneven ground conditions, which you'll find in a garage or a warehouse such as this. We've been at this now for about two hours and the structure itself is up fully. There are a couple of 45 degree structural support beams. And here is where the screen hangs. You can see it's got a double support plus the angle iron for rigidity. And this is where the screen will be suspended from. We're gonna put that up next. So the screens and the curtains and the ceiling baffles go up pretty quickly and it gets quite dark fast once you put those in. I've left this side trim piece off so you can see how the curtains and the baffles simply clip in using carabiners right onto those brackets. And if you wanted to, you could apply another set of brackets to the outside of the frame for custom graphics if you were putting it up at a trade show or um, an event. But what we really want to see is how does the screen look with the projector on? So let's take a look at that. So now that this whole thing is up, you'd be hard pressed to tell that this is actually a standalone cage structure and not a home-based simulator built into the walls, which is exactly the point. It's what you want. At the end of the day, we now have a system that is sturdy, fully durable, customizable to really any size you need, simple to assemble. It took us three hours to put it up and about half that time to take it down. It looks professional and best of all, it's affordable. And if you want those details, you're going to have to call me at these numbers. Have a great day. Look forward to talking to you soon.